Hey everyone, I'm standing on the top story of a giant parking structure to test out what happens when you try to drink from the world's longest straw. Can you actually get the water up to your mouth? And what happens if you connect it to a vacuum chamber instead of your mouth? Can the water actually reach the top? I remember many years ago, Veritasium did a video on trying to suck from a really long straw like this. They tried different methods and they tried to use their mouth and they were able to get up to around seven meters. But I always left disappointed with that video because they never tried to use a vacuum pump to do it. So I wanna try it with a vacuum pump and see what happens when you get past the theoretical limit of how high you can suck water through a tube. Now what's hard about sucking water through a straw is the more water you suck up, the more that water weighs in the straw and so it tries to pull it down. Down. And so that means you need a lower pressure in your mouth to suck it up even higher until eventually the pressure that you need to suck that water up through the straw is lower than the vapor pressure of water. And so it will actually start that water boiling in the tube. So that means there's a theoretical limit to how long your straw can get. You can't suck water up past a certain level, which is around 10.3 meters. So first I'm going to try it with my mouth. Now your mouth can actually act like a pretty good vacuum pump, especially when you don't try to use your lungs to do it, but you use your mouth muscles to do it. I actually went to an event and tested people to see what the lowest pressure is that they could get by sucking on a tube. The winner got down to lower than two PSI, which is an extremely low pressure for just using your mouth. So I have my water here and I'm just gonna dye it red so you can see the water a little bit better. Okay, I've got the red water now. Let's see how high we can suck it up. Okay, let's drop our tubing down. Okay, tube in the water. It's going all the way up there. Let's see how high I can get it now. So let me suck it up as far as I can. I'll put a clamp on it and we'll see how high we got. Okay. Ow. Okay, so this is really hard. My mouth muscles are really sore right now. So I can't get it up very far. I'm sucking it, but I can't even get it up. It's barely visible down there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I barely got up. This is only 14 feet high. So I got up 14 feet. I still had a long ways to go, all the way up there. Okay, now I have a hook to my vacuum pump. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Look at it coming up. It's trying so hard to get up there. It's just boiling. It's actually boiling in the tube. Oh, but some of the gas is caught right there. So look, some of it can get pushed up the tube. That might make it. Oh no, it's making it through the tube. Oh, it made it all the way up here. So you can see up there it's boiling. As we move down, you no longer really see the bubbles anymore. Let's keep going down there. Still a few bubbles here, but not much. Let's check the bottom. So there's no bubbles here, but the higher you go, the more the pressure decreases. So let's see what happens if we decrease our tube diameter now. 
Okay, let's turn on the pump again. The smaller tube. So about the same thing with the smaller diameter tube too. So you can see that at the top here, it's completely filled with water vapor. And then the vapor increases more and more till at the top, it's all water vapor. You can see it's really trying to come up. Okay, let's turn it off. And it drops. So you can see that this didn't work very well. No matter how hard we were sucking on it, it just kept boiling the water. And once you boil the water, you just get water vapor. So it can't actually suck up the liquid water instead. The liquid water actually tries to rush past the water vapor and the water vapor goes to the top. Now sometimes the water vapor can actually trap a little bit of liquid so it can get up past the theoretical limit. These vapor bubbles in the tube are called cavitation. Now this cavitation is a big problem because no matter where you are in your system, if your pump ever creates too low a pressure, it will create these vapor bubbles. And these vapor bubbles can form and then when the pressure gets higher, they can collapse. And that can actually cause a lot of energy and it can ding your system around and can actually break your pump. So the pressure I was able to get to here was around 34 feet. I was actually able to get a little bit higher than the theoretical limit because the vapor could get trapped a little bit and push a little bit of liquid up and it actually even went into my pump. So if you have a really high flow rate or a really good vacuum pump that sucks really fast, you can actually trap enough liquid in that you start getting liquid higher than the theoretical limit. And I should also mention that this is temperature dependent. So the theoretical limit depends on what the temperature of the water is. For example, if the temperature of your water is at boiling, then you're already at the vapor pressure. So you can't actually suck boiling water up through a straw at all. Let me show you. But you do have to be careful because if you try to suck really hard, then you'll actually suck the water up and entrain some of that liquid water so you'll get boiling water in your mouth. But if you suck slow enough, you can't suck boiling water up into your mouth. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out my Action Lab Shorts channel. It's a channel where I do similar videos to this channel but I make them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.